So let's start our discussion with this question. Okay, what a specific situation we're in communication plays a vital role. So let me ask Raniel. Um, I think on a group project, sir. Group project. So, what's the function of communication when it comes to making or doing group projects? Pag dili mo nag kasi naabot sa ibuhaton sir kay dili mahuma ng group project or pwede po mali ang gibuhat niyo so mag-usab mo sa dunya hanto di no di na mo kapasa sir. Exactly. That's why communication plays an important role in any task that you need to perform. This is relevant in all communication contexts. Okay. So the lesson that we're going to discuss for this meeting is about functions of communication. Right. The lesson objectives for this meeting, at the end of the lesson, the students can discuss the functions of communication Identify the speaker's purposes and listen to listen to sample oral communication activities. Right. Communication as a human activity always serves a function. Functions of communication refer to how humans see language for different purposes. Right, so when we say function, it means, excuse me, it means purpose or what's the use or how communication helps bridge the connection among people. So the function of communication may depend upon the situation and the necessity, what is required in the situation when it comes to communicating with other people or the participants. Experts such as Roman Jacobson, Michael Holliday, and Bernice Manilo Manilosi have categorized the different uses of fun or functions of communication. So communication serves five major functions within a group or organization. The control, social interaction, motivation, emotional expression, and information. First is we have control or regulation. It can be used to control the behavior of human beings. It can be used to regulate the nature and amount of activities humans engage in. Which means that when we say control or regulation, it is used in order to regulate the behavior of people so that there will be organization there will be balance in the system that you are in say for example law and ordinances this form of communication exists since humans have the tendency to deviate to social norms or want to uh, in control or regulation we want to set a standard on how should we behave and conduct ourselves. So that's the function of communication when it comes to control or regulation. For example, in a company, communication is used to maintain control over employees and their work environment. This communication comes in the form of policies and other written materials which dictate how employees are to act in the workplace. So, memorandum, um, for example, in school, the student handbook, it 
it comprises the policies of the school, how the students should act, how the students should behave, and what will be the consequences when the students deviate from those policies indicated in the school handbook, student handbook. That's an example of control or regulation. Next, we have social interaction. Communication can be used to produce social interaction. In their daily course of living, human beings develop and maintain bonds, intimacy, relations, and association. So we can create social realities that could lead to social relationships. And we can create this phenomena through communication. So there will be no social connections or interaction among the people in one community or in one group if we do not agree to use communication. So we cannot maintain good relationships with other people if there's no constant communication. Example, a group of friends hang out in bars or cafes to talk and catch up on each other's activities. So social interaction could be formal or informal, such as formal parties, um, acquaintance parties, even informal conversations with your friends. That's a form of social interaction. And you need to use communication in order to serve the purpose. Next is we have motivation. It refers to a person using a language to express desires, needs, wants, likes, and dislikes, inclinations, choices, and aspirations. So when we say motivation, it is a form of communication in which you encourage other people. It involves emotions. You express what you aspire in life or your needs and wants. Example, for instance, a coach may give a pep talk to his team before a big tournament to get their spirits up and deliver a positive performance. So this, an example wherein motivation is manifested, wherein the coach give a pep talk in order to lift the spirits or to motivate his players in order to deliver a good performance during the game. Next one, we have information. The communication can be used for giving and getting information. Give information usually comes in the form of statements, of facts, or grammatically known as declaratives. So when we say information, it is to provide knowledge about something you're supposed to need or to know. So information should be supported by evidence since you need to relay factual knowledge. Okay, for example, um, news report. Um, news articles. This kind of in, uh, communication is like uh, you are disseminating information. Example, the teacher is not only the one who gives information. Students also have the opportunity to share what they know. Just like what we're doing today. This is a form of information since the teacher is discussing the lessons. But the, the, the students are not just the ones who are learning when it comes to having classes, but as well as the teacher. They also learn from you. Next one is emotional expression. Human always need to express their emotions verbally and non-verbally. Emotions are essential part of who we are. Beyond thinking about the things and people in our world, we feel about them and about ourselves. So there's a thin line between motivation and emotional expression because both of these functions involve emotion. But in emotional expression, 
kind of different because it's in a certain level or certain degree you need to invoke emotions or convey emotions so you can i know see uh you can utilize emotional expression in order to to reveal what you feel inside or in order to convey what are your thoughts what are your actions example a man may express his affection for another person by verbally saying it through a simple gesture such as a hug this is an example of emotional expression okay the special case of expressing opinions the function to which expressing an opinion belongs depends on the purpose and setting in which it is done expressing an opinion has broad functions covering every category of communication function so um in expressing your opinions sometimes functions may overlap meaning one statement or one opinion can be manifested or can be inferred by various functions in it like for example facebook post could function as information but because it is a lengthy one or it has a long content possible the communication is multifunctional such as about disseminating information but as well as expressing your emotions okay how about this one which communication function can you categorize team building they have experience doing team building um let me ask darrell darrell yes yes sir okay so which communication function can you categorize team building communication function uh, ano sir more of sa sa katong sa Emotion pod, pwede nyo mo ito ibutang. Okay, also ah. is, nag-cheer ka sa imo ang ka-team na especially wala, kung tayo, wala ka, wala ka na-apil sa team building nila, warag, warag, ang team ninyo is na sobra. Then, ikaw mismo na mag-ano, is i-cheer nyo mo sila para ma-motivate. So, which means that team building is a multifunctional form of communication because we can use emotional expression or motivation in order to perform this kind of communication situation so the same thing with expressing opinion so which means that functions may overlap depending on the situation or depending on the context so i want you guys to we have a pen and paper with you Okay, please prepare a pen and paper because I'm going to show you something. Then after that one, we're going to have an activity. So get a pen and paper. Okay. So this is the activity. Identify the communication functions that can be seen in the video clip. List down as many as you can. Okay, prepare a pen and paper to list down your observations. So, okay na ta? Do you have your pen and paper na? Okay. Let's watch the video. Have you ever had I 
got Terrence calling me on the phone asking did someone get shot. I ought to cancel your spring play. This is me. I'm not going to do that because we've already paid the DJ. But don't think that I'm not taking this book serious. Coach Carr has fled school property. Miss Norberry has been accused of selling drugs. And what the young lady in this grade needs is an attitude makeover. And you're going to get it right now. I don't care how long it takes. I will keep you here all night. I will keep you here until four. And what we're going to try to do is fix the way you young lady. Okay? Lady to lady. So who has a lady problem that they like to talk about? Yes. Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin. Because I used to put on those pants, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy bow and a wide set for John. Yeah, I can't do this. He's no bear. You're a successful, intelligent, caring, graceful woman. There has to be something that you can say to these young ladies. Something to help them with their self esteem. It's not a self esteem problem. I'm sure I'll be pleased with you, Okay, uh, everybody close your eyes. I want you to raise your hand if you've ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. Open your eyes. Now, close your eyes again. And this time, I want you to raise your hand if you have ever said anything about a friend behind her back. Oh. Well, girl on girl crime here. Okay, so what we could do today is a couple exercises to help you express your anger in a healthy way. This movie had a concern each other directly about the things that were bothering him. And it seems like every clerk had its own problem. Asking her to stuff up every piece of Mr. Sharp's yogurt, and God agreed. Can I just say that we don't have a quick job of us uh, and some of us should not have needed workshop and have some of us victims in this situation? That's probably true. How many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Regina Jr.? Thank you. 
Is lag pa rin yung video? Let me adjust that. So watch again. Have you ever had it happen 60 times in a row? Just talking about you. Have you ever had it happen 60 times in a row? I have.
I got parents calling me on the phone asking that someone get shot. I ought to cancel your spring play. I'm not going to do that because we've already paid the teacher. But don't think that I'm not taking this book seriously. Coach Carr has fled school property. Ms. Norberry has been accused of selling drugs. Now what the young ladies in this grade need is an attitude makeover. And you're going to get it right now. I don't care how long it takes. I will keep you here all night. I will keep you here until 4. Now what we're going to try to do is fix the way you young ladies relate to each other. Okay? Lady to lady. So who has a lady problem? Yes. Somebody wrote in that book that I'm lying about being a virgin because I used to put jumbo tampons, but I can't help it if I've got a heavy blow and a wide set vagina. Yeah, I can't do this. Miss Norberry, you're a successful, intelligent, caring, graceful woman. I am. There has to be something that you can say to these young ladies. Something to help them with their self-esteem. It's not a self-esteem problem. I think they're all pretty pleased with themselves. <sighs> okay. Uh, everybody close your eyes. Right. I want you to raise your hand if you've ever had a girl say something bad about you behind your back. Open your eyes. Now close your eyes again. And this time, I want you to raise your hand if you have ever said anything about a friend behind her back. Open. Oh. Uh, it's been some girl on girl crime here. Okay, so what we can do today is a couple exercises to help you express your anger in a healthy way. Let's start over here. Yes, no. Feel all around. Okay, so what we could do today is a couple exercises to help you express your anger in a healthy way. Let's start over here. Miss Norbury had us confront each other directly about the things that were bothering us. And it seems like every clique had its own problems. And acting really stuck up ever since you switched to Sharp Fielder, and God agrees with me. God, don't drag me into this. I'm pitching tomorrow. I tell my young dad without my eye. My two hands will be right in the jacket down your home place mine. I'm moving to my hum yum no. Okay. Good. Can I just say that we don't have a click problem at this school? And some of us shouldn't have to take this workshop because some of us are victims in this situation? That's probably true. How many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Regina George? Okay, who's next? Who's next? Um, hmm. Katie, do you have anything you want to own up to? Yes. No. You never made up a rumor about anybody? Just that you sold drugs. No. Nothing you want to apologize for? I couldn't apologize to Ms. Norbury without getting blamed for the whole burn book. No. <coughs> I'm really disappointed in you. Okay, so we're all here because of this book, right? Well, I don't know who wrote this book, but you all have got to stop calling each other sluts and whores. It just makes it okay for guys to call you sluts and whores. Who here has ever been called a slut? Okay, everybody else. Miss Norbury had us write an apology to people that we hurt in our lives. Melissa. Sorry, I called you a gap to the bitch. It's not your fault you're so gap to. Gretchen, I'm sorry I laughed to you that time you got diarrhea at Barnes and Noble. And I'm sorry I told him it would have And I'm sorry for repeating now. 
Regina George died. No, I'm totally kidding. But she did get hurt. Some girls say they saw her head go all the way around, but that's just a rumor. Some people swear they saw me push her in front of the bus. That was an even worse rumor. Hey guys, so every one of you will present at least one situation wherein at least one communication function manifested on the video. All right, so are you ready? Okay, let's start with Renian. Let's go one by one. One, sir. Mm. The picture nila na Black American sir tong nag-explain siya about tong attitude nila sir kay gina try niya control sila sir. Uh, so the, the communication function is control or regulation. So uh, how about Ralph? Mm, yung yung naka brown na jacket sir na gi Cheer na yung nakabdu. Uh, motivation. Okay. So, how about Kimberly? Katong ano sir, katong teacher na, ay katong babae na teacher, tapos nag-ingan siya nga, i-express, i-express nila ang ilahang, ano, express the anger, then ang function of communication dito sir is emotional, ay, emotional expression. Okay. How about Fria? Ako as sir. <laughs> Naingon na ng tatu sir kato marag mag express sila sir mag mag magganya sa lag sorry sir kung sa lang na feel something anak sir. It's also um, emotional, exp- 
emotional expression. Okay. How about Carl? Carl? Okay, we'll go back to you. Um, uh, let's keep car. Uh, we'll go back to you. How about Anjali? Um, na <laughs> nasabi naman sa kat na despite na lag sir na sabi ang mas nakuwot laga yung mga yung control yung mga I think meron is social kay meron din dalawang girls nag-usap nun in a casual way and may emotional din so yun ako na sabi naman din sir ah, sige how about Merkel Merkel Isabel Okay, we'll skip, but we'll back to you later. How about Daryl? Sa paman na. Ano, sir, ka nang they are able to, ano, to express their their thoughts about sa ilaha, sa, about sa, sa, sa mga tao na, na dito, sa ano, sa gym ba to? Something. So, Gymnasium. Every, also, so, every people, ano, naka tebalan nila mo to ako ba na ina ego or nata na gigi ulo <laughs> to na yung mga nasuko <laughs> wala to may ngontel okay how about Marl after na confess ato ang babae na naka black jacket di cheers sa crowd so that's Motivation. Sir. How about Brimsy? I think, sir, the whole scene kay social interaction siya, pero more specific, to go into specific, sir, kay katong katong nag-sorry na sila sa each other kay Morag na I trust fall so Morag na interaction sa isa't isa. Ito lang. Alright. So, how about Lily Beth? Um, katong part, sir, na na ay naka-red na babae, katong murag dili siya part dito sa school, kay gi-express niya iyang ano, mga emotions. So, emotional expression, sir. Okay. How about Jazel? Jazel. Okay, let's keep Jazel. Let's proceed to Justine. Justine. How about Ezekiel? I katong part na sa kuan sir. Katong nanindog na gochila sir. Morag katong nag say sorry sir ba? Morag expressing. Emotional expression, girl. Okay. So, um, sino pang, ano, wala? Carl. Let's go back to Carl. Yes, sir. <coughs> what manifestation of function of communication that you observe in the video? Uh, not to, ano, sir. Isa ka scene na uh... Asian ba ito? Asian nga babae. Ito, nilingkod pa sila. Nag-storya siya. Ano siya? Social inter interaction. Okay. So, how about Merkel? Emotional expression po, sir. Okay. Which part? This a part po na nag... Yung... Ay, hindi, sir. Pala. Motivational po pala. Kasi doon sa part ng teacher na in ex, in minamotivate nila yung mga students na express nila yung emotion nila. At saka po may part din na may mga group of friends na nag-uusap. So, inter, social interaction din po. Okay. So, Jazel. Hey, 
Justin. Ano, ano sir? Madunggan ko sir? Ah. Katong control and regulation sir, kay katong scene sa babae na teacher kay giingnan niya ang student na iingon ang ilang mga kalagot. Ano good sir? She gives direction and instruction what they're going to do. So, as you can see in the video, uh, that's a video clip from the film Mean Girls in 2004, um, played by Lancelo, and it's one of the most popular films in the early 2000s. So, you can see the video that the functions of communication are manifested, just like what you have mentioned, just like what you have presented. Activity. So those are the functions of communication. Uh, functions of communication. So it's very important that you know how to uh, utilize these functions uh, in a given situation. So I think that's it. That's our lesson for today. Okay, do you have questions? Clarifications? Do you have questions? So I think it's a wrap. That concludes our discussion for this morning. Thank you very much, guys, for your cooperation and have a great weekend. Uh, don't forget your assessment activities to be submitted tomorrow. And by the way, I already posted the uh, sample outline for APP subject, the assessment activity in lesson, uh, I think it's lesson one in sa, sa outlining. We just check it out. It's our schoology. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to end the conference now.